Have you landed on the ground yet? Yes. It feels like a mountain top. Mm -hmm. And I see waterfalls. I think it's waterfalls. Look at yourself. Do you feel like you have a body? Mm -hmm. I don't see myself. Do you feel yourself there? Yes, I, I think I see legs. You see what? But I, I see, I think I see my legs. Mm -hmm. You're able to see, sense, feel, know, hear everything very clearly now. Very clearly now. Very clearly. What do you see? What do you sense? How do you feel? How do you look? I, I see my legs. And I see like a golden, an anklet type of a round on my le on my feet. Mm -hmm. And look at your feet. How many toes do you have? Five. Look at your hands. How many fingers do you have? Five. Do you feel female, male? I, I I feel like sh Shiva. I, I do not know, but that's what I feel. Mm -hmm. You feel male? Yes, I I do not know if I'm seeing it or if it is me. Mm -hmm. Just keep allowing for it to show and feel and know. Keep allowing to get these answers. Are you wearing any jewelry on you? I think what I'm seeing is Shiva sitting on top of the mountain. Mm -hmm. I see his dress like tiger's skin. You see, you see tigers or tiger skin. Just, just the skin. Uh, that's how he's clothed. Okay. And look all around him. What else do you see? Is there anything else or anyone else there? No, it's just him sitting on the top of the mountain. And I think he is meditating. And do you feel yourself inside of Shiva or outside? I think I'm seeing him from outside. Mm-hmm. Let's see, let's see why it is that you're here. You've been taken here for a reason. You are seeing Shiva there. Would you allow for Shiva to speak through you? Yes. Wonderful. If we could now, if we could ask Shiva there with great honor, love, and respect, ask for him to speak through you and allow for him to come through and see what messages he has for you and why it is that he's shown himself today. Shiva, we honor you, we love you and respect you. Thank you, thank you for, for being here with us today. Do you, may I please ask you questions? I feel, I feel energy inside my body. Mm -hmm. Welcome Shiva, we love you, we honor you. Thank you for being here. May I ask you questions please? Yes. Thank you, thank you. Now, Vishnu, Vishnu Priya has been taken here to this mountain where you are sitting. May I ask, why is it that you have shown yourself in her? Do you have a message for her? Yes. Thank you. What message do you have for her? I, I think I'm having a hard time connecting. Mm -hmm. It's okay. What I need you to do is just keep imagining his beautiful love light, powerful love light energy just helping you. His energy could be similar to even Archangel Michael. So feel, feel his energy coming into your crown and integrating and just feel him flowing through you. Keep doing that, imagining that, sensing that, feeling that, knowing. And let me know 
we're gonna aid you now with um, channeling energy let me know if anything changes as you keep imagining what i just said okay let me know when you see sense feel anything different anything different i do feel high energy inside my body in my stomach stomach area what about your stomach area uh, i feel like energy vibrating mm -hmm. okay as we continue to channel this energy to to her shiva if you could continue can you start working on her and I would like to start a body scan since she is having a hard time connecting so that we can see what is blocking her and stopping her. Shiva, if you could help her, help her now. Start the body scan now and scan her whole body for any negative energies, entities, technologies. The biggest thing that's holding her back right now. So if we could locate that now in her body. And... Shiva, if you could help her see, sense, and feel, draw her attention to where you want to start off in the body, please. Heart. Her heart. Okay, let's look at that now, Shiva. If you could please scan that area now, Shiva. Scan that heart now. Help her see and sense and know what's in there, what's in the heart. Feels like a negative entity. Negative entity in her heart? Yes. Okay. Um, if we could have, if you could tell me, Shiva, is that an entity or a reptilian consciousness? It might be a reptilian consciousness. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, if we could now call on Archangel Metatron to please surround this reptilian in her heart. If we could please surround it with the symbols now, please. Shiva, let me know once Metatron has surrounded it. Do you sense it as well? Yes. Okay. Just keep focusing on what you're getting, though. This is about you and your self-healing. Did Metatron surround it with the symbols? Yes. Very good. Thank you. Now that um, it is within the symbols, thank you. And my love and gratitude to Metatron. Thank you, brother. If I could continue speaking to Shiva. Shiva, if you could please help us, I would like to speak to that reptilian consciousness in her heart. I would like to speak to it now. If you could please, Shiva, have it come up, up, up. Guide it up so that we may speak to it now, please. Come up, up, up. Let me speak to you now. Greetings. Greetings. Thank you for speaking to us. Love you, honor you, and respect you. May I ask you questions, please? Yes. Thank you. If I may ask, when was it that you connected to her heart? When did you attach yourself there to her heart? A few years back. A few years back? Yes. What was occurring to her in that time that allowed for you to come in? She was, hit, she was hitting her heart. She was hitting her heart? Yeah. Why was she hitting her heart? Problems and frustrations. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, problems with her mom. Say that again? Problems with her mom. Mm-hmm. And when she was hitting her heart, this allowed for you to come in? Yes. Okay. Now, if I may ask, uh, do you have a body somewhere else? Yes. Would you be able to please connect us to that body now? We would like to speak to that body that you are connected to. If I could please speak to you now. I could please speak to you now. Greetings. Greetings. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to me. I honor you, love you, and respect you. May I ask you questions, please? Yes. Thank you. 
Now we have uh, found this consciousness that, that is placed within her heart. And if I may ask you questions in regards to where where is it that you are currently on? Are you on Earth or or beyond Earth? Beyond Earth. Mm -hmm. Where are you at? I think I got Mars first. Mm -hmm. Are you in Mars? Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us how this works? Um, as a are you above on the land of Mars or elsewhere? They are hidden. Hidden? Mm hmm Okay. Are you there on your own or with others? With others. Mm -hmm. And in human years, how old would you be in human years? 102. Mm-hmm. And what color is your skin? Black. Mm -hmm. Now these others that you're with, how, what connection do they have to you? It's my family. Mm -hmm. Are they also reptilian as well? Yes. Tell me, uh, tell me, why is it that you have Attach yourself here to her heart. What is the purpose to that? To, to draw, to draw love. To draw on her love? Yes. Why would you need that? It helps us. We, we are in dark. We need light mm -hmm. and love. Are you not able to create this on your own? No, we, we are in dark. Mm -hmm. How long would you say that you've been there in, in human years? 102 years. Mm -hmm. And when you said it was your family that was with you, can you explain that to me? Is there more males or is there any females or children? What do you mean by that? There's 10 of us mm -hmm. with male and female and some children. Mm -hmm. And what is the reason that you are there? Out of all places, why are you there? I'm not sure. This is where we incarnated. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, you all who are there, if I could speak to you now to, as a collective, since it's 10 of you, are the others as well, do they, they, do they as well have their consciousness inside other, other humans on Earth? Yes. Approximately how many do you think you have um, attached your consciousnesses into? Three. Three? Three. Three, okay. And if you could tell me, how is it that you survive? How do you survive in this environment there in Mars? We are hidden deep inside the ground. It's, it's full of darkness, but we live there. But you live there? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why do you live there and not above a man? Others should not see us. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, I know that you've been there some time, and as you know, this is the time within this universe of ascension. As the Earth shifts, she will transform into a lighter type of density, and we are looking to give you an opportunity as well to, to positive polarize instead of having to be playing negative polarize, attaching yourself to others, training upon their energies. We'd love to be able to aid you today so that you may lift yourself from this role and turning into positive polarization. That way you could keep your experiences gained throughout this time instead of when the ascension comes forth, you will be you would be transmuted back to, sent back to zero. And we would much rather aid you in keeping your consciousness. Would you allow for us to aid you today? Spread your love light, all of you. Can you help my family as well? 
Yes, we can. We can help everyone there in the cave, so long as they allow it. Yes. Wonderful. Would you allow for us to help you, aid you, into turning into love light? Yes. Beautiful. If you could please look within you, all of you now, all of you there, all ten, find that light within you. Find that light within you now and spread it. We're going to aid you in spreading. Spreading. Light love now. Spread it to every part of you. Every essence, every every part of you there that is within this Mars location. Spread your love light all the way to every part of you. And let me know once all of you are all light. How's it looking? Yes, we are all light. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you. Now go ahead. Go ahead and bring forth as well that consciousness that you have in her heart. Make sure that as well turned into light so that it may go and merge back into you as it is, it is part of you. Let me know once that is converted into light and you have taken it. Yes. He's all light? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. Now... Go ahead and pull that piece, piece out of her heart and bring it back to you. And if we could have Raphael, please. Raphael and the higher self, fill in love light now to that area. We just, we just remove that consciousness, please. Thank you. All right. Now that you are all light, tell me what that was like in your body. If, can you please share what that transformation felt like and looked like? Yes, we we were all dark. Mm -hmm. Now it, it feels full of light. Mm -hmm. We feel happiness. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. We are all together now. Mm -hmm. and Beautiful. Now, what happened to your body though when you transform into light? The, the bodies are left there in, in, in that dark room we were in. Hmm. So was it like a, okay, so the full physical body is, is like, is it like laying there? Is that what you mean? Yes. Okay. Yes, like, like dead. Okay. So is it kind of like you shed it off and now are you like a, a spirit, a being? Yes. Okay. Very beautiful. And how are the children looking? They're all light now. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Very good. And is it okay if we follow on your journey and see where it is that you all go to? Yes. Thank you. Go ahead and go with the love and light of the universe. Go where you're meant to go and allow for the archangels to guide you, please. Where you're meant to go. And let me know what you're seeing along the way as you're, as you're going. We see light. Like a bright light. And we are going towards it. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Let me know once you're there, what that feels like and looks like. Yes, we are there. And tell me, it once feels, you... Mm -hmm. It feels like a bright light reflected by a lot of white crystals surround, like, like a circle. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And tell me, once you get there, what do you do with the white light? We heal ourselves here. Mm -hmm. And everyone's there, including the females and the children, healing themselves? Yes. Okay. And if we can fast forward time, fast forward time, if you could continue to be our guide here, fast forward time for when you are, you or 
All of you, however, works are healed. I'd love to know specifically the the children who were the reptilian children and now are of light. Specifically, once they are done healing, what happens next? What do they do next? We go out of this circle, like a round ball. Mm -hmm. We have to go somewhere else. We will go back to the source mm -hmm. and, and, and wait and plan for our next incarnation. Okay. Very good. And could I speak? Would you be able to connect me to one of the babies, one of the children? Yes. Thank you. Am I speaking to you now? Yes. Thank you. If I may, um, can I follow you on your journey and see where it is that you go once you've gone through the source energy and see what you decide to do afterwards? If we could fast forward time, fast forward time now to when you are ready to leave the source energy. Let me know what it is that you do. We speak to our guides and plan for our next incarnation. Hmm. And if one of you can show me, whoever wants to show. Once you plan out your incarnation, can you take me through your journey and how that happens? How do you incarnate? Take me through that process. We create a plan. Mm -hmm. As what we would have to achieve in the particular incarnation. Hmm. Let's go ahead and go. Let's go to that incarnation now. Whoever wants to show their incarnation, tell me what's happening. What do you see? What's, what's going on? I would incarnate like, like a, a lizard. Like a lizard? Yeah. Mm. Do you know um, what planet that is? Not sure of the planet. Mm -hmm. But I see like a lizard. Mm -hmm. And do you mean like a lizard animal, not a lizard human? Or what type of lizard? I'm, I'm not sure. Because initially I saw like a tall structure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks or, like a tall, tall structure. Would it be like a human a, lizard? Is that what you mean? It's not a human, mm -hmm. but it has a tail and it has like a tall structure with two, two legged. Mm -hmm. hey, would that be a reptilian again once more? Yes. Okay. Now feel yourself. Uh, now that you've taken this incarnation as a reptilian, do you feel that you were like when you were a reptilian originally, or is there something different about you in this form? I'm a positive reptilian at this point. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what I mentioned. You're able to see and sense. What dimension are you in? It's fifth dimension. Mm -hmm. And tell me, how is it that you're positive? What is it that you are doing? Or, or what, for example, what plan did you come up with and how you were going to be positive? I would be helping others in guiding them. Yeah, guiding them and helping them. And do you mean like others, like who others? Other animals, other people 
or whoever is present in the planet. And were, are those others reptilians? Would they be reptilians that were negative as well? That, that are negative, but you're positive? Is that who you'd be guiding? Mm. It's, it's kind of a jungle. Mm -hmm. And I'll be helping others, showing their path. I look after this jungle with other animals. Wonderful. Anything else you want to tell us about this life you are now going to live? No, I'm. I'll be. I'll be happy here. Thank you. Blessings. What a beautiful, beautiful thing. Thank you. Thank you for assisting there in guidance. Love you, honor you, respect you. Thank you. Thank you for your help in helping us. Thank you. If I can now please back speak back to Shiva. If I could please speak back to Shiva now. Shiva, brother, if you could please scan her body once more. If we could scan her body once more. Let's see. Scan and see if there's any other entities or reptilian consciousness there, please. Let me know. Let us know what you sense. What do you find? I sense like a black black dot black circle in her third eye region okay if we could scan that area shiva could tell me what that is that black dot is that a negative energy negative entity a negative implant what is that a negative energy okay does this negative energy have a consciousness to it yes Typically, when there's negative energy and it has a consciousness, that would be an entity. If we could uh, speak to that entity there now, Shiva, if you could help us connect to that entity there now. We'd like to speak to you now. If you could come up, 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 up now, please. Greetings. Greetings. Thank you. Thank you for speaking to us. May I ask you questions, please? Yes. Thank you. When was it that you attached or connected yourself there to her third eye? While she was a kid. Mm -hmm. What was going on with her that allowed for you to connect yourself then? She fell down. She fell down? And what happened when she fell down? She was too young. And she fell down from the from the cradle. Mm -hmm. Did she hurt herself? She fell with her head down. Mm -hmm. Hitting down. Mm. Then did that harm her? Yes, but, but nothing major. Is that when you entered then? Yes. Okay. Is this a contract? Yes. If you could tell us, what is the lesson and purpose to this contract, please? To awaken her spiritually. Mm -hmm. What kind of discomfort have you caused her being there in, in her head? Blocking her third eye. Okay. Do you know if you had a body before you entered there? No. Hmm. I, I'm positive. You, you said you're a positive? Yes, I'm, I'm a positive okay. being. Then um, why are you in a form of a black dot? It, it was to block her third eye. Mm -hmm. Okay. If um, you're blocking her third eye there and are in this color, we would like to aid you to ascend into more of not a black, but instead a white light. Would you allow for us to aid you so that you may transform into light? Yes. Good. If we can now if you find that light within you, find that light within you, spread it to all that is of you, every root, every core. Make sure you don't miss any piece of you. Let us know once you're all light. Yes. 
Thank you. You could go ahead and remove, release yourself, release yourself from her body now, from her head. Make sure you take every piece of you with you. Let us know once you're out. Yes. Thank you. Do you have a message for her before you go? You have reached the point. She has reached the point where she has to reach in terms of her spiritual path. Mm -hmm. And I wish her all the best moving forward with it. Beautiful. Thank you. Go ahead and go with the love and light of the universe. Blessings to you. Thank you. Thank you. Shiva, with the higher self, can you please start healing her pineal gland? Any any da uh, damage that that caused to her pineal gland and her abilities? If we could now, she would like her abilities opened up. So if we could work in the in her abilities, including inside her pineal gland, to open those up for her to whatever the higher self will allow. Can we do that now, Shiva? Yes, we are doing it now. Thank you, Shiva. Now... As you continue to do that, Shiva, can you scan her body one more time and let's see where else needs healing. Let me know what else you find. What else do you see, Shiva? Something at the top of the head. Mm -hmm. Let's look at that now. Let's scan that area now. What is on top of her head? It is some blockage. Maybe you can. Show us, help us see sense. What is that blockage? What does it look like? What is it? It looks like a black star. Mm -hmm. Yes. If we can go ahead and uh, figure out, does that have a consciousness or can we transmute it out? We can transmute it. Okay, very good. If we can now, can I use the Phoenix Fire? Yes. And Shiva, can you use your fire as well, please, brother? Yes. Thank you. Let's go ahead and transmute that out. And as we're transmuting it, Shiva, can you explain to me what is that? It's a negative energy. Mm -hmm. Does it have any type of AI form within it? Or technology? Looks like something that would have come from her past lives. Mm -hmm. Okay, if we could just continue working on transmuting that out so that she will no longer have that blockage there in her crown, please. Mm -hmm. Good. And then just let us know, Shiva, once that is transmuted out. While we continue to transmute this out, Shiva, if you could continue to scan her body and let us know where else, where, where are we meant to heal next, please. Something else in her heart area. Okay, let's go back to the heart now. Back to the heart. Scan the whole area. I want to make sure we don't miss anything in her heart. What is there? It's the right side. The right side of her heart? Right side of, of the chest area. Chest. Okay, what is it? Feels like a cord. Feels like a cord? Cord, yes. Okay. And where's the... Con Cord. Let's follow that cord through and let's see where it's connected to, please. It's connected to her father. Mm -hmm. Okay. And why is that connected to her father and her heart? It's like a soul contract. Okay. Yeah. Shiva, Shiva, can we remove this contract now? Does she still need it with the higher soul's permission? <sighs> Yes, but looks like sh she might have to heal him. And what happens if he doesn't allow to be healed? Or if it takes a while of his effort? Mm. Can we leave the cord then and um, transmute the negative energy within it? Is that what you're saying? Maybe I could speak to, if I could speak to her higher self now. Shiva, let me speak to her higher self and see what her higher self says about this contract here. Mm -hmm. Yes. Greetings. Thank you for speaking to us. I love you, honor you, and respect you. What can we do about this court and contract with her father? Are we removing it or are we 
turning it into a more of a healthy light type of energy in the cord. We will be able to remove it at this time because an effort has been already made. Okay. And that will initiate his his um, change. Mm -hmm. Since this has been done, we will be able to remove it at this time. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Harisa. Thank you. Should I continue speaking to you or should we go back to Shiva? Or are you yeah. one? <laughs> or are you one in the same? Zero yeah, one. Okay, very good. So I'll continue speaking to all of you as one. If we can go ahead and make make that, go ahead and transmute that cord. Transmute that cord out now. And let's remove it completely. And as we remove it, higher self, can we ensure that we start feeling in love light? Love light to that area that where it was removed so we can make that area healthy once more. And she had also mentioned that at some point she was feeling back pains. Was this at all connected to any back pain? There were other entities which which was removed in her previous session, which was causing. Through what, I'm sorry? There were other entities which mm -hmm. was removed in her previous session. Oh, okay. previous. Session. Very good. Thank you. Okay, heal, heal the area there. Thank you. Did you say no? If we could continue with the healing now, please. If you can, if you could conduct the the body scan and along the way, just let us know if you need any aid from anyone else. Okay. Does that work? Yes. Thank you. If we could scan her body one more time and let's see what else you find scan right now for any other we want to make sure we don't miss any reptilian consciousness any entity scan her whole body and also let me know how's that star looking on her head that's transmuted beautiful very good if we could if you could fill in light love to that area make it nice and strong please thank you yes very good now tell me tell me what is what else do you see that is next to heal I think we are good here. Wonderful. Thank you. And can I ask, just to make sure, as uh, Shiva, can really look and find entities? I want to make sure we don't miss anything. Can you have Shiva just double look one more time, please? Make sure there's no entities, negative implants, portals, hooks, reptilian consciousness. Scan her whole body, please. Yes, we are good. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to continue um, higher self. We're going to continue asking the questions that she has here as far as her health. She says that she was having digestive problems and feeling bloating in her stomach. Let me let us know what is what was the cause to that? What was the root cause to that? Overdosage of medications, chemicals. Was that part of that ibuprofen? She said, I believe she said she took two bottles worth. Yes. Okay, can we go ahead and heal that, the damage that the ibuprofen caused, please? Yes. Thank you. Very good. And how's her heart looking now? I know I asked for you to work on it earlier. How's her heart looking now? We would need help from Raphael. Raphael, okay. If Raphael... Oh, who? To fill in some, some light here. You said who? Raphael. Raphael, okay, good. If you both could start working there then, please. Raphael, brother, thank you for assisting. If we, you could both help in filling in her light and make it to the biggest and strongest it can be in this time and space, please. Thank you. Okay, now she wanted to know how about her current diet? If she needs any diet required, any changes to her diet required, should she stop eating meat and fish? Yes. No. No meat and fish. Okay. Can you explain to her what's wrong with meat and fish? Why Why does she have to stop that? Um, the meat and fish being 
to being living organisms mm-hmm. there might be other entities present in them and the pain that they went through in their lives especially during death mm-hmm. will get stored in their bodies consuming that would lower the vibrations of the body okay so if she intakes what you're saying fish and meat she intakes if they had entities and and then also the pain and trauma that they went through she's taking in this negative energy into her when that's she eats right. it that's right so basically it it lowers the frequency and vibrations of the body okay and then what happens to the negative energy once it enters into her it it needs to be kind of digested and expelled out but it takes a long time okay yeah Was- Does the negative energy ever get stored in the body? It does if if it is strong enough. Mm-hmm. But otherwise over time it gets dissolved. Okay. And I think this is a good question. Um if this the animal is carrying entities in them and and this pain this trauma could they potentially if someone ate a- uh, animal products and they the animal had entities in them could they transfer entities into into them through that manner it might get transferred but since there there is contracts Mhm. So for example for some people if the higher self doesn't accept it might not be able to at times with contract they might enter and also at times without any contract they might enter it happens in all directions. Okay. Thank you. Now she wanted to know so she says she has a constant itchy nose what's the reason for that the the dragons <laughs> the dragons are tickling her nose yes mhm can you show her some of the dragons or is there any dragon that would like to speak to her these are baby dragons mm-hmm. like three three of them <laughs> and help her see and sense them so that she may know in the future how they look so she can continue this communication with them is there any messages from the dragons for her they are saying look at us <laughs> they must be adorable Yes. They're beautiful. Very good. Well, our love to them. Thank you for being here with us. Thank you. Thank you. And then going back to the eat, her eating habits, can we heal her body from any any harm that eating animal products have caused to her body? Can we heal that and just flood her with that powerful love light to her body to heal that part yes her her digestive system and the intestines need needs healing go can you start that now please yes thank you okay so looks like we are done with her health those were her questions now we really wanted to address her career path and finances she has a couple questions there She wants to know why did she have so many financial problems in her life? Could you please heal it and remove any blockages preventing her from having financial abundance? She has a lot of debt to pay off. 
What can you tell her about that, please? Those were contracts with with her family members. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose of that contract? Why? To, to give her financial pressure at early age in her life in order to push her towards the spiritual awakening. It, it was needed sooner in her life and therefore such contracts were made to give her this kind of uh, pressure, financial pressure. Can we remove that contract there? Has that all been healed? Yes, mo most of the contracts are already done. Okay. Yeah. And then also there was um, some forgiveness she wanted to uh, heal within her, her father and father-in-law and so on. Has everything been forgiven for her? From her? Um... Uh. Yes, uh, and that was needed, that event was needed for both of them. Mm -hmm. it, it was for their highest good. Okay. And if you could tell me, is there any connection to why she had to go through that? Was that also healing any part? of energy from India or the collective? Yes, it is. Um, feminine versus masculine. To, to raise the feminine power against men. Mm -hmm. So that was needed, especially in this part of the earth in, in India. Mm -hmm. That was needed to release a lot of negative energies as, as a collective, collective of feminine, Indian feminine. Yes. So has she completed that task? Yes, yes, she is a brave soul. Okay, beautiful, thank you. Very good. Is there any blockages then that are maintaining her from experiencing abundance financially, please? Yes, and most of it weird contracts. Mm -hmm. and we, we will be able to heal it for her at this time thank you thank you for doing that good okay she also would like to sell her house in Kerala India and pay off the mortgage there is there any negative energy or entities in the house could you please Heal it and then bring a buyer to them immediately to sell it, please. Mm. There are some negative entities 
negative entities from from previous residents of that place um and her father also needs to be healed he is he is residing in that house mm -hmm. she mentioned that she did a raw on him on the house and then she they, the mother and they, they noticed a difference in him what when she did the raw what did she do to his house or him She uh, the negative energies in that place were removed, mm -hmm. and the negative entities which was present saw the light. Mm -hmm. so they they are ready to move on to the light Beautiful. and that yes that also affected uh, her father mm -hmm. and uh, yeah that's what happened okay thank you lovely now we we will be able to at this time go ahead and heal mm -hmm. heal that place at this time yes thank you thank you so can we um aid in bringing forth that natural abundance so they can find a um, buyer of that home please yes we we will do a fire transmutation at this point good and, and you can help us as well for this. Yes, doing that now. Very good. As we continue to do that, let me know when that is done. Now, um, she has another question. Yes, he has an intuition to set up a new education system for 5D Earth. Is it a right path for her? If so, what would be the educational system of 5D Earth look like? Yes. Oh. She, she has been... Uh, a goddess of education mm -hmm. in her past lives and yes she is capable of of doing this beautiful for the, for the new earth mm -hmm. thank you will you all please continue to guide her through that process yes we thank will. you Thank you. Now she um, want to know. Uh, she wants to know what role does dance play in the Earth's ascension, and does teaching dance for kids help in this process? Yes, a lot. Turn her high. Yes. Um, dancing. Dancing is basically, dancing increases the vibration, the mm -hmm. overall vibration, not just within the body, but overall vibration of, of the place, of the collective. And dancing as a group especially has a huge impact in bringing up the vibrations, mm -hmm. bringing up the frequency. And I could imagine, I could imagine a group of children. How how pure that and beautiful that would be. The vibration. Yes, it's it's a fantastic art form. 
different from other art forms but dance in and itself is is a huge healer especially for the for the earth this is is very helpful and dancing as a group especially females helps a lot with the ascension at this time mhm wonderful thank you and how's the house looking in kerala yes it is good now okay yes wonderful thank you okay um she wanted to know as, as well as what are her some of her past lives and what is the mission of her current life mission of her current current life is is to help india especially um with with the spiritual healing practice as well as with the with the education system that we were talking about mhm you can have she can create a great impact in india with with her incarnation this time uh yes mm-hmm. and I, as i said in her in her past lives she she has been goddess of education Mhm. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank Now, she wants to know what is the significance of her name being Vishnu Priya and why she has a U mark in her forehead, a uh, birthmark in the forehead and back of her head. Yes. Uh Vishnu Priya is is the name of wife of Lord Vishnu. So that's that's me. Mhm. Uh and and vishnu shiva they are all one they mm. yeah they are just different fractals and the u mark yes it did it did come from lord Vish, vishnu's Th- that's how he is portrayed Wonderful. Thank you. Okay. She wants to know what's special about India with lots of gods, yogas, mountains. You mentioned some part of why she was born there, born there. So what's special? Um during the initial creation process a lot of fractals a lot of fractals of divine mother and divine father took their incarnations in this part of the earth mm-hmm. and that's what has been seen in the religion of hinduism mm-hmm. and this is uh, the, the the religion of hinduism is very ancient it's ancient than many other religions that exist at this time like christianity and buddhism which are all newer when compared to the ancient uh, hinduism and its tradition mm-hmm. so the indian gods are basically the fractals of divine mother and divine father mm-hmm. which came upon earth a lot of years ago much much you know in ancient just when the earth was created beautiful what a beautiful explanation thank you okay and she wants to know um should we talked already about the connection she has let's go on now i w- uh, she said she would like to remember all the research that she did with crystals so she could use that knowledge now she could start remembering that in her spiritual healing practice please yes um it it will slowly happen as time passes and as she 
does her healing practice mm -hmm. we will open it up step by step for her thank you and to tell her perhaps what is um some of the beauties perhaps that will come of her being an aura practitioner in india yes her own abilities and spiritual gifts will keep will keep molding will keep raising up mm -hmm. and she also will be able to heal a lot of souls especially since in india there isn't uh, any such hypnosis practitioners mm -hmm. as much as we have in in the western world yes and yes she would be one of the pioneers to this part of the earth mm -hmm. yes she will be able to teach this as well in future mm. beautiful thank you yes okay now now she also wants to know what is her connection with her father why does he have has played a such a negative role uh, with her and how can she help him heal through an aura session but you know as we know she already tried with that so what advice do you have for her in the future with the aura or overall with her father uh, it is it is past life connection uh, she has had past lives where her father had had a, a negative impact in her life and this life he is just a representation of those and by healing him she will be able to heal heal the collective of masculine especially the ancestors mm -hmm. who has uh, the masculine who has played negative role in the feminine's life and this has been happening over a lot of different in uh, lives generations after generations mm -hmm. especially in india and therefore the masculines also have to be healed from their karma mm -hmm. and this will be able to happen by her healing him by forgiving him for his for his sins mm -hmm. and by healing him we will be able to heal their ancestral family as well that is beautiful news. Thank you. As we continue that healing, can you also scan? Can you scan for any fragments or soul pieces that need to be regained to her place? Thank you. Let me know what you find. Yes, one, one fragment can be joined to her at this time. Thank you, yes, please. Good, if you and Rakhval can work on healing that now. Thank you. And we want to make sure that if there's any past life or current, current life trauma, can you scan for that? Let me know what you find. Then we can heal. Past life trauma needs to be healed. Mm -hmm. Can you tell us from, from, is there any certain past lives? A lot of it was healed during, during the event with her father-in-law, mm -hmm. where she, she cried a lot during that time period and mm -hmm. a lot of her past lives were healed during that process. Okay. And now by healing her heart, heart chakra, we will be able to get it done. 
Beautiful. Thank you. If we could do that, start that process now, please. Very good. And is her heart healed to where it needs to be at now? We will continue healing it for her okay. um, in the background. Wonderful. Very good. So at this point, we've answered, asked all the answers that she had. Is there anything that I could have asked that I haven't asked? She says something about her hair. That's right. Mm -hmm. She had me write that down. Thank you for reminding me. Um, can we scan her head? Why was the hair not growing? She says her hair won't grow. Yeah, it, it was because of the negative energies in her head. Mm -hmm. Was we it have mm -hmm. Go ahead. Yeah, we have removed uh, those in the session. Yes. And we would need to fill in with love light to heal. Mm -hmm. If we could fill in love light now so that we could help the hair regrow once more. And was there, was it connected to that black star at all? Yes, the, the, the negative, yes. Okay. On, near her crown, yeah. Filling in that, the head area there with love light now. Let us know once we're done. Yes, we are done. Beautiful, thank you. Very good. Oh, is there anything else that you would like to address before we finish up? Any message you have for her? Yes. Um, she can continue with her spiritual healing practice. It was to bring her to this point that she had to go through all the problems in her life. Mm -hmm. And she has finally reached where she has to. And we are, we are happy and proud of her. Mm -hmm. for what she has done and we will continue opening up her spiritual gifts as she progresses forward in this practice we would like to thank you Aurora for helping her achieve this and we are happy that she found you mm -hmm. Thank you. It is such an honor to have work with you as her higher self as well as Shiva. Name one else who aided as well. Thank you to everyone. I love you, honor you, thank you, respect you, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> and, and with her financial problems that she is going through, mm -hmm. those uh, will be healed and solved. Again, those were all to bring her to this point and since she has started her spiritual journey here, especially helping others, the more she helps others, the more her problems will be solved so she can focus on helping others. Yes, please. Yes. Wow. You're always here to help and help her and guide her. She can call upon us for any, anything she needs, and we are here to guide her. Thank you. May I bring her back? Yes. Wonderful. Thank you. That was amazing. You did a phenomenal. Yay! You did thank it. You. Thank you. <laughs> Do you think you remember everything? Yes, uh, mm -hmm. yes, I think I was, I was conscious throughout. Yeah, and, and the, the reptilians that got removed was something surprising for me. Were you able to see them as well? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I sensed and saw and felt everything with you. So, yes, I definitely knew that there was a reptilian in your heart. Just from the beginning, when we first started talking, I knew you had one in there. So um, my job is not to influence your sessions because you need to discover this because this is all about you and you self-healing because that is when we truly experience growth. You have to do it on your own. Yeah. That's nice. 
Mm -hmm. And I love all the awareness, too, that you shared about the Indian culture and overall just uh, relationships since there. Um, I think it would really help uh, your people over there. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I feel very light and happy. I don't know about you. <laughs> that was very beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank yes. you. Thank you. <laughs> wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful as well. Wow. What a, a beautiful, powerful, um, you know, testament as well to the beautiful creation that the angels have created for us with the aura. And then also that raw that you did on your, on your father that you thought, you know, he wouldn't be able to be helped. And yet he's starting in that wow. past. That's yeah, that was absolutely a surprise to me because mm -hmm. none of us expected for, for him as a, as a negative character you know, being apologetic. My mom was really surprised. She was like, what happened to him? <laughs> <laughs> yeah and the, that is that is how we see the transformations yes. thank you sure thank you so okay. much aurora you are a gift for me thank you so uh, much love, thank you love. thank you as well sister and i love you and you are a gift as well thank you for all that you will eat over there because i like i said from the beginning i saw a huge huge um huge transformation you will lead over there thank you sister but not without your help so <laughs> Please do lead and guide me throughout. Thank you. Absolutely. Yes. Will too. Thank you. Thanks. Love Thanks you. So honor you and respect you. Blessings to you. Talk See to you later. later. I love you too. Bye, -bye. <laughs> Bye love.